lightweight, make that bantamweight division battle. It's Dylan Uz Forrester and Jeff Denton will meet Dylan Forrester first. There he is from Miami, Florida originally, now fighting out of Savannah, Tennessee, and fighting for Cobra Combat. He'll be coached and cornered by Cobra, Cobra Frierson. And uh, Dakota McPherson will help out as well, who's going to be putting his heavyweight title on the line tonight here on V3 Fights. This guy is a second-degree black belt in karate, making his debut. Six-foot, 135-pounder, a freestyle fighter, and 24 years of age. I drove out to Savannah recently to uh, see these guys work out. Dylan has been begging to get on a card. He actually took this fight on one week notice after Jeff Denton's original opponent had pulled out. Very nice. Jeff Denton said, hey, I want to stay on the card. Can you find me someone? This kid was was begging to get on a card, wanted to fight in April. I said, well, you know what? How would you like to fight in March in a week? He said, I'm ready. Let's do it. And here we go. Now let's get ready to meet Forrester's opponent in this Bantamweight division battle, Jeff Denton. From Independence, Mississippi, fighting out of the Brawler's Den. Coached by Jeff Denton, Jr. I imagine there's a long, long line of Dentons. As we take a look at the tail of the tape, Deshaun Mitchell will also be in his corner. Both these fighters making their debut. Denton is a stand-up fighter, 25 years of age, as you see. And again, you got Tennessee versus Mississippi in this battle between Forrester and the bearded one, Jeff Denton. Jeff Denton's dad was a, a boxer. These guys literally work out in the middle of his living room. That's why they call it the Brawler's Den, because they're fighting in his den, practicing, working out. But they've had some talented guys come through them. This one should be a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, I would imagine, from the get-go, and here comes Jeff Denton. And a nice round of applause from his followers who are here at Minglewood Hall. Clint Kosinski will give him a few last words, our referee for the fight. And now let's meet the two as we go to Michael Kelly with the formal introduction. The three legion this bout is brought to you by Cloud9 in the separate three Three-minute rounds in the Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with the green and white trim at six foot even. He weighed in at 135.2 pounds. A freestyle fighter making his MMA debut, representing Cobra Combat and fighting out of Savannah, Tennessee, by way of Miami, Florida, Dylan. Cuzzo Forrester. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He wears the white trunks with the baby blue trim at five feet, 10 inches. He weighed in at 134.6 pounds, a stand-up fighter. Also making his MMA debut, representing Brawler's Den and fighting out of Cenotopia by way of Independence, Mississippi, Jeff Denton. Crowd certainly into this one, as is our cage announcer, Michael Kelly. Nice introduction there from Michael. And now let's get ready for this battle in the Bantamweight division. Dylan Forrester and Jeff Denton. Round one, here we go. These guys both coming out firing. Two debut guys, they don't really understand how to pace themselves for a full nine-minute fight, so... Well, endurance will be a factor, possibly, as this fight moves along. But as I said, I expected fireworks from the get-go, and that's what we're seeing right off the bat. See, Dylan, he's got his hands down. He feels really comfortable. Looks like he wants a counter strike, and he's getting some uh, he's getting some uppercuts in there. Yeah, but he walked into two big rights from Jeff Denton. Dylan Cuzzo Forrester. Oh, he, he, he connected with the right hand there. He certainly did. No feeling out process in this fight. The Bantamweight fighters letting it all loose here on Ming or in Minglewood Hall on B3 fights. 
Denton definitely taking this time to kind of breathe, relax, and regroup after uh, after that barrage. Couple of knees there from Forrester. Denton with a right. Oh, a wild kick there from Forrester. Good elevation, but off the mark. A lot of arms, a lot of legs out here, isn't it? Yeah, Denton's kind of throwing really unorthodox, which sets up Dylan to be able to counter those. And there is a cut in the corner of the right eye of Denton who gets kicked into the side of the cage. You talk about an unorthodox fighter. Boy, Forrester, man. These punches and kicks are coming from everywhere. And he really, really wanted to fight in Mississippi because part of his game is the elbows and knees to the face, which he cannot use here in Tennessee. Well, so far he's been effective with the punches and the kicks. We approach a minute to go in round number one. So Denton's got himself in a bad position. He's got his both of his hands committed around his head, so his face is open for Dylan to just come in there and throw some punches. Again, there is a cut in the corner of the eye of Denton. I think it's his right eye, but I don't know how bad. We can't tell from here. See a little blood on the back of Denton. Back blood is always a good indication that your opponent bleeding, so. Or actually, that's, uh, yeah, that's Forrester with the, no, I was right. Yeah, you see uh, Denton on the bottom. Denton's got a cut above his right eye. Yep, exactly. Half minute to go in round one. Now he may just look for a simple choke here. Getting some body strikes. Got him pushed up against the cage. This is a bad, bad position for Jeff Denton. Ground and pound. He's making it rain right now, Forrester. Boy, those punches coming from every angle. You saw some hammer fists earlier. Can Denton survive this first round? He's got 10 seconds. 10 seconds trying to block those shots. And right there, it's an opening for Forrester. Four, five, that's six. It, that's and it. And wow. That's going to stop the fight. It's going to end with about a second or two. And they're still the talking. They're still talking to each other. But hey. Emotions run high. So you see Jeff Denton's dad just threw his ice into the cage. He's going to get ejected out of here. We don't need that. Wow. Forrester ran in some ground and pound and really taking it to Jeff Denton. Let's get the official time as we go to Michael Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, here in the V3Ks, we present the official time of two minutes. 56 seconds in round number one. Referee Clint Kolosinski calls a halt to the bout due to strikes, declaring your winner by TKO victory and getting his first MMA victory, Daniel Kazo Forrester.